uh, Baker's Gas and Welling Supply, and we're here today with John from Hypertherm, and uh, he's going to talk to us about the new flush cut consumables from Hypertherm. Thank you, Andrew. Um, yeah, we've got a new set of consumables that uh, this month came out for our, our smaller systems. Uh, the flush cut's a, a new set of consumables that allows you to do a variety of things like cutting bolts, rivets, welded eye hooks, um, anything where you want to cut something off that's at a, a plate level and you want to cut it off flush to the plate okay. without doing any cutting to the plate below. Um, and these parts are available for a variety of our machines. Um, the new set of consumables came out that work on our new 45 XP, okay. um, and it also works with, it, with our existing Duramax torches that go on the, new, or the older 45, but they're available for our other machines that go up to our 125 as well. Okay. Um, and what we have here are the parts, and um, they're very simple to put in. If you, wanna, if you want yeah, to, you can absolutely. go ahead and put them in. But you have five basic parts that you have. You have your nozzle and your swirl ring, or excuse me, your electrode and your swirl ring, and they just go together just like what Andrew is showing you. Uh, these are different than our normal set because they have a little bit different airflow. So this is different because of some cuts in the bottom that make the airflow differently. This electrode is a little longer than our standard cutting one because we had to be in order for it to engage this right. Uh, then you have what's called an inner retaining cap. And that's what holds those parts in place but also has a uh, rot or a uh, uh, up and down safety switch that goes to, to, to uh, actuate the safety circuit in the torch. And then you have what's the magic of the whole setup. This is the nozzle shield combination in which the flat spot on the bottom that you see here is what would ride on top of your metal. And this is what sends the arc down at a 45 degree angle so it can get that special angle. And what Andrew's doing is putting it into the torch and putting it at an angle where he might be using it on the hand system and then the outer retaining cap holds it all in place and then tightens it down so the safety circuit is then uh, actuated. So, um, and then you can do, uh, like I said, just about anything that you can cut that you need to cut off flush to any plate. Typical items like applications or bolts like we're showing here, if it was a welded eye hook or a rivet or something that you just want to cut flush to something else without doing damage to the bottom of the plate. Okay, and these just came out. These yep, brand new. these, uh, these the new parts for the 45 XP. XP just came out. Okay. So these are brand spanking new. Wow. And uh, but we do have two other sets that work on our other machines. On all will be linked below that uh, the information will be so on the screen. Attach so. it with the kits. Now do you want, when these are sold, do we buy them in a kit? Do you buy them individually? How, how, yeah. how you Originally you have to buy them all as a kit because you have to have all five pieces. Absolutely. And so. But the pieces that will wear out on a regular basis that you would re replace more frequently will be the nozzle shield combination that's here in the front because this is what's going to be doing most of your cutting and getting most of the damage, and then the electrode inside. Those are the two typical pieces that wear out. All the other parts will wear out in time, but typically speaking, they don't yeah. unless you damage them on your own. Yeah. But for the most part, it's just those two pieces that you'd use going forward. All right. Very cool. Well, let's, uh, let's give it a shot. This is my first time using these new flush cut consumables. I'm going to let you know what I think here. Wow. Wow. You see how you knock it right off? Yeah, knock it right off. Now, if you have anything that's still of a high spot, you just go back and wash it off. Wash it back off there. Wow. You should be able to knock that bolt. Yep. Wow. Right first there. time. Holy oh, yeah. Pretty simple to use. Yeah. Pretty. Wow. We're going to flush cut this weld off this little T-joint that we have here. Um, we're going to give it a shot. First time trying this out. Uh, I'll give you some feedback here in just in a second. Wow. Perfect. Cut right through that weld. Yep, it did. And look at this. This is what you want to look at when you're done. You wanted to see, now this is a real thin material. With all this stuff right here coming right off. Right off. And you're, you're fairly flush to the plate. Yeah. So, now normally speaking, you're going to be cutting thicker material, so you won't be going through a plate like that. Yeah. But when you see what you just did, it was perfect speed, everything. Once you got the speed right, and once you got it done, you cut it flush. Absolutely. There's very little damage to the plate. All this stuff in the backside comes right off. Again, you're rarely cutting this tip on this kind of stuff, 
but you get an idea uh, of what it can do yeah. with a weld or a welded eye hook or anything else that's welded up like that. In the past, I've done this with an oxy fuel torch, and it takes forever. It does not do that. And the preheat gets, gets, yeah. gets you all over the yeah. place, and it's dirtier, it's dirtier and things like that. So with this, it's cleaner and faster. Can we try out some aluminum? Absolutely. Same thing on there. You, to, you probably have to cut the whole thing this time because uh, it's welded on the tack side on the both sides if you go all the way across. Okay. Let's try this out. Rips right through that aluminum. Yep. Like butter. That is perfect. I mean, that is perfect for me. You, you, you just go in, that's an easy, easy yeah. way to clean up, go back and re weld. Yeah, go back and re weld. Wow. So, but that's the value of flush cut and what it can do for you. And the applications are, are literally unlimited when you start thinking of the way you could use this in yeah. other ways. Oh, just adjust that now? I'll just exactly. Yeah, you know, we're doing bolts, welded pieces down. Um, you know, you'll find all kinds of applications for it once you get it going, and we have. We have a lot of customers using these in ways we never even dreamed of. Yeah. Since we started putting them in the market. Wow, that's really so. cool. Thanks for watching my uh, YouTube video on this. Uh, please leave your comments and questions below, and uh, subscribe to our channel at Baker's Gas. And all the products we talked about are linked up below. Johnny's got it.